Gotta warm up these hands so I don't make any mistakes. No mistakes! Gotta warm up the hands! Oh, they're actually like hot now. Friction! Okay. Yo! What is going on, everybody? It's Eastern Ninja here today, my dudes, for a brand new episode of Pokemon Ultra Moon Wonder Lock. If you guys are excited, I say this every day. Drop a like for me down below if you guys are hyped, or if you want to wait till the end of the video and decide if you actually liked it or not. Either way, a like is extremely appreciated. Subscribe if you are new, and to your share this video with a friend, all that kind of shenanigans. I think we should jump into a quick team recap, but before we do anything, in the last episode, if you guys missed it, make sure you go back and check that out. iCard right here, link in the description as well to the playlist. If you guys have, if you guys have missed any episodes and you want to go back to watch, see what you missed, all that kind of stuff, it would be great. Um... Huh. I need to remember to breathe. Okay. You guys should do that. Because in the last episode, we battled all kinds of uh, Team Skull boys. Made our way over here to where we are now. And we're getting ready to face off with... I almost said Gladian, not Gladian. Um, Guzma. Your boy Guzma. <laughs> uh, so yeah. You guys definitely check that out. But first off, for the team recap, we have Flareon. Chilling level 40. Two, with Lava Plume, Shadow Ball, Last Resort, and Quick Attack with a Flash, Fire, and extra Expert Belt with a Modest Nature. Then we have Gengar, on level 41 with Shadow Ball, Sludge Bomb, which we got in the last episode, Psychic, and Sucker Punch with the Cursed Body and the Ghostium Z, and then Timid Nature. And we have Shogun, on level 41 with Shadow Claw, Crunch, Zen, Headbutt, and Rock Slide. Overcoat ability in the Evia Light with a serious nature. Then we have Serena Williams, thick thighs, taking lives over here. Level 41 with Trope Kick, a woman therapy stomp, and teeter dance with the Leaf Guard ability and Miracle Seed, and the Timid Nature. Then we have Araquid in level 45 with Leech Life, Lunge, Bubble Beam, and Crunch with the negative special defense nature, which is just amazing for the specially defensive mon on our team. <laughs> Water Bubble ability, Quick Claw, and Naive Nature. Then we have Tangrowth in level 45 with Giga Drain, Knock Off, Slam, and Ancient Power with Regenerator ability and Left Overs. And that is the team moving forward, as well as my hiccups coming out to play. I'm going to put... Gengar out front because Flareon has been doing the finest, absolute finest of work the last episode. Literally the entire episode was just Flareon dot deck. Um, but yeah, we've already battled everyone. We are ready to go. I did kind of want to go back and heal up between episodes just to be safe. Uh, do I want to waste the items? Do I want to waste the items? There's no point in wasting the items. Let's just, um, I'm going to just run back. Super duper quick, super duper quick, and uh, get healed up. I really meant to do it between episodes, but I, I guess this is where we are now. This is what we're doing. I might have sped up through this process. I haven't 100% decided yet. Maybe in post, I'm like, you guys don't want to see me running all the way back to the Pokemon Center. Maybe I sped it up. Maybe I completely cut it out. We'll figure it out when we get there. How do I get to the book? Is that one more? Oh yeah, the Pokemon Center's down here. Hello? I need my Pokemans healed. I think it's like ten dollars to get my Pokemans healed here. It's super dumb like that. It's super dumb. Also, we realized in the last episode, I started out with a scary story as the intro, and you guys could barely even hear the audio the entire time, which makes me very much of a sad boy. No, I don't want to give you any more money. Don't want to give you any more money. Very sad boy. Very sad boy. The scary story kind of lost something when you couldn't hear the audio. It really did, which makes me very, very sad. We are fine, I think. Encoding overloaded. Okay, let me make sure I'm clicked onto the right window. Maybe that'll help. Ooh, frame drops. Isn't it lovely? Isn't it lovely? The frame drops are the best. Alright, so we have to go over here, answer this man's questions. Let's do that. Greetings, visitor. If you wish to meet with Mr. Guzma, then give me the three secret passwords. No. Good. Glad you've got no bones about obeying our sacred traditions. Oh, so 
I'm supposed to say yes the first time. Answer everything with a hearty no, remember? And tell me the, today's first password. Which one of these does our big sis like best? Poison jam. <laughs> then tell me today's second password. Which one of these does our big sis like best? I don't remember. I think it's Serena. Seriously? <laughs> then tell me today's third password. Which one of these does our big sis like the best? Tapu Coco. Poison jab. Serena and Tapu Coco. Are you sure about that? No. To the fuck. Okay. Let I know that two of those were correct. I don't know that I was right about the Pokemon that she likes the most. And I think that the paper's around here somewhere and I don't remember where it is. Is it over here? Nope. Hmm. Oh, it's on the floor. It's on the floor here. I didn't even notice it. Okay. No, not you. Shut up. Oh, she likes bound sweet. Okay. I see what I did. I see how I answered incorrectly. Okay. Try this again. Try this again. How many how many attempts do I get? Alright. Uh which one of these? Poison jab. Bound sweet. Tapu Coco. No. Wahahaha. <laughs> you know all our big sis our big sis's favorite things, and you even knew to say no at the end. Yeah, you're one of us, bonehead. Yeah, boy. Look at my Team Skull t-shirt, boy. If you want to have an audience with Master Guzma, then follow the path out on the roof. <laughs> out on the roof. They missed a perfect chance to say Rufa there. Instead of roof. It should have been Rufa. 100%. 100% also. This is apparently loud outside, but very quiet inside. The audio for the series is very hard to get into a consistent place. Very, very difficult. Scooping this escape rope. Battling this girl right here. Trying to get my team skull battle on. Trying not to get too smacked up right off the bat. That would be great. Thank you very much. Okay, jeez. The audio just got hella loud again. Like, I'm trying to just figure out where to even put the audio. That it's not melting my ears, and you can still hear it. It's a very hard thing to figure out. Spinarak? My boy, you're about to get psychic I probably could have Shadow Ball, it doesn't really matter. I kind of want to go for the Z-Move, just for the trolls and the lols. I think I'm going to save the Z-Move for the first time seeing it when we're battling Guzma. That would be totally fun, right? Ponyard. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I actually don't have anything too solid for Ponyard. I guess Shogun could do the work. Flareon, I mean Flareon, I have stab, fire type moves. That'd be great, except it's raining. So, not really sure if it's going to KO. I think I would be fine in the long run. I'm just trying not to get take too much damage, really. That's my main goal right here, is to just not take too much damage. Okay, so everything's resisted here. That's fantastic. I thought Dragon was neutral, but apparently not. Apparently steel resists dragon still. Didn't know that was a thing still. Actually, I didn't know that. Well, actually, I did kind of know. I was going to say, I didn't know that was a thing at all, but I, I definitely knew that. I, I remember the days. The days of old. The days of woe. Back in the day when um, steel resisted practically everything. Resisted psychic, dark, sci a ghost. All, the, all of the powerful... Special attack, because that's why that's why Me uh, Metagross was so OP, was because Metagross was taking neutral damage from Dark type and Ghost type moves. You could only hit Metagross with super effective damage if you could again hit him with an Earthquake or uh, a Fire type move. That was the only way you hit Metagross super effectively. Go back, yeah, we'll swap out. Go back out into Shellgon, because Shellgon has your giant head bite. I'm over here flexing my Poke knowledge. Hardcore. Golbat? Hi, how are ya? Well, hi, how are ya? Zen Headbutt? Boom! Dead. 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 Swift? Mmm. Pro played. I apologize. I didn't know you were so serious. 
that didn't kill. Trying again. We're trying it again. There's no reason not to. Swift. Oh. Pro played again. I apologize. My girl. Did you even really try? Did you even really try? You could have poison fanged me. And got snagged the poison. That would have been perfectly annoying. Um, trying not to use up my super good items. Focus band? I have two focus bands. I have a scope lens nobody's holding. I just did a team recap for myself and now I'm gonna have to like go back and double check what everyone's holding. Go see them's email, go see DVLA, like, expert bell, quick claw, and leftovers. Okay, so all solid, solid choices for our boys here. All solid choices for our boys here. I'm, I was like, I should give scope lens to someone. I don't know who would take ghost scope lens though. Do I have to battle both you bozos? No, okay. Fantastic. There's a rabbit drawn on your wall. I don't know if you guys know that. Hey, Rotom, how you feeling, bud? Can you give me some Roto experience? Nope. Okay, thanks. Hello? The heated... <laughs> it's your boy Guzma! The heated boss! The... The hated boss. The hated boss who beats you down and beats you down and never lets up. Yeah, big bad Guzma is here. I don't really get you, kid. But at least this is a change of pace. It's not every day someone comes straight to me for a beating. Um... I'm here for the Pokemon you stole. Oh, young goose? <laughs> How sweet of you to help out a sad little girl. <laughs> Are those Z crystals you have there? Those are Z crystals he has there. And you came all the way here just for that, huh? Can't you just watch out for your own Pokemon and stay out of what? Stay out of other people's business? No, no, I cannot. Or else we wouldn't have a storyline. You're one messed up kid. You want to know what I do when someone, when some machine messes up? The first thing I do is give it a nice hard smack. I mean, most of the time I smash it to pieces, but hey, what can you do? Now let's see if I can fix you. This man just spat bars at me for no reason. Intimidating, one might say. I love this music. It's great. Now, this Golisapod is the man who stole three mons from us in the last last time we battled this guy. But now, we're on par. And now, I have a Z Shadow Ball for your face to catch. Woo! <laughs> I should have thought of. I knew. I knew. I knew. I should have. Uh -huh. I knew that would happen. I knew that would happen. I knew the Galissapod got sucker punch. I don't know why I didn't think about that. All the way up until this battle, I could have realized, yo, Galissapod's gonna have sucker punch. Maybe I shouldn't lead with Gengar. Honestly, Galissapod is a number to an my entire team. Honestly, Galissapod does a number to my entire team. I don't have Leech Seed on this. Why? I wanted to go in and set Leech Seeds. This is not a competitive tank growth. I don't have Leech Seed. What am I doing? This is not a competitive tank growth. I do not have Leech Seed. Oh, I out. Tank growth outspeeds, but Gengar doesn't outspeed? What? What? I'm sorry, who? <laughs> oh no, Gengar, no, Gengar, no, Gengar. I really, really wanted to keep Gengar around. Bug Buzz, can I eat that? No! My hat. 
Why do we even battle this guy? Why do we even battle this guy? Every time we battle him, we get slapped up left and right. Each time, and worse than the last. We have a Flareon. I know that Masquerain gets Bubble Beam and Water Gun and shit, but is, is he still gonna have it at 41? I'm expecting Air Slash is gonna be fl what Flareon really has to worry about. I think Flareon... I need to just slow down and think about what I'm doing. I need to just slow down, realize that I'm having a very intense battle right now. Okay, we do see Air Slash, okay. I think Flareon can live Air Slash. I can eat two Air Slashes. If this Lava Plume doesn't somehow does not KO, Focus Sash, Invisible fucking Focus Sash. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to curse. Invisible Focus Sash? Are you kidding me? I'm gonna try and bleed that out. I'm trying to not curse anymore. Although I think now would be a perfectly fitting time for some curse words. Okay, now he's going into his Golisopod. I can try and Lava Bloom, but I'm feeling like I might get outsped. I think Shogun with Rock Slide. Shogun's Rock Slide might be our savior. Although, I think, does Evil Light just boost defense, or just special defense, or is it both defenses? If it's both defenses, I think we're okay. If it's just special defense, we have a problem. Okay, we see another so Sucker Punch. That was a crit. And the Rock Slide connects, okay. The lock might be safe, but now I have to do grinding before tomorrow's episode, which I, I really don't have time for. I really don't have time for this. No! Pencer. I'm staying in. I have Rock Slide. I don't have anything else I can really go into for a Pencer. I mean, I guess Flareon. But I have to just hope the Rock Slide connects and we're fine. Of course. Of course it doesn't connect, and of course we're not fine. Of course it doesn't connect, and of course we're not fine. Why would that- why would that hap- why would we be totally okay right now? Why would that be something that could just happen to us? I don't know. Silly me. Silly me. Okay, that actually does not do a whole lot at all. I think we're relatively safe. I think we're relatively safe. As long as it doesn't create us- Shogun! Dude! What are you doing? Are you even trying to survive right now? Oh, Guzma's looking too smug over there. I need to crush this bug with some rocks. That was a crit. That was a crit. Okay, finally it's... Finally it connects. And it does practically nothing. Are you shitting me? Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I think Araquanid should be able to eat attacks. Okay, not really. God damn it, dude. We're in a rough spot. We are in a rough spot. I'm going for the bubble beam. It's boosted by my water bubble. couldn't drop speed really I think bubble beam drop speed I think there's a chance to drop speed oh my dude we lost we lost two team staples well we lost one team staple Gengar hadn't been around that long but still Gengar god I can't no Tangrowth no no, Town Growth, no. Why? Why, though? Why Tang Growth? Why did you have to take Tang Growth from me? I'm never clicking Scary Face. I would never click Scary Face. Tang Growth, though. My heart. I love Tang Growth. 
Fuck you, Guzman. I'm not reading your... No, I'm not reading your thing anymore. I'm not reading your thing anymore. I'm not reading your text. You killed my Gengar and my Tangrowth. I'm not reading your text. All right. Well, that was fantastic. That was a, that was a fun time. Uh, yeah, you you've every time we've battled, you've taken multiple mons from me. I have no doubt that you're going to be the end of my lock one day. I have no doubt. No doubt in my mind's eye. Got Bugnium Z though, which I guess we needed a new Z crystal. Taking that off doesn't really matter. Taking the leftovers off. Who is our new Z crystal man's? I think Grassium Z on Serena would be fantastic. Actually. And I'm going to try and put... Oh. Leftover should be... Thought it would be at the bottom. I guess I already... Did I already sort this? I'm on the ball and didn't even realize it. Give me leftovers to Iraquanid. Even though Quick Claw came in clutch there in that last battle. Kevin Quick... I'm taking a Quick Claw for the leftovers. I think leftovers are going to be more useful. I don't know if we have to have any more battles before we can get to a Pokemon Center, so I'm just gonna heal up. I'm just healing up just to save just to save myself the the heartache later. Of having to figure out who's gonna die since I didn't heal. Okay. Salty, 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 salty. That was that was a lot that didn't need to happen. That was a lot that didn't need to happen. That was... That was some craziness. If I have ever seen craziness, ever. What are you still doing here? Why is that... He's just standing around. Oh, he's, st he's still here too? Okay, did Team Tills... Did they leave or no? I was wondering... Do you use your prize money for Roto A? I buy items. I, 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 buy, I buy items. Can I have Roto EXP, please? That's not Roto EXP. Definitely not Roto EXP. I simply wanted Roto EXP. Literally all I wanted. Hi, how are you? My Pokemon died. Can we not do this right now? I've got... I've, I've got to thank you for this. Wait, I've got I've got you to think for this? Question mark. Thing must have been scared half to death. If it's glad to see a re a wretch like me. He looks high as bananas. Bananas are pretty high if you think about it. They're high up in the tree. My sentence made sense. <laughs> what a lot of hassle. A trial goer, huh? Figures. Look, I'm not gonna fight someone who is who is taking on Team Skull. I'll heal your Pokemon up, so go, just go. No! I wasted those items then. Though, looking around now, it seems like there are fewer Team Skull folks around here today than usual, huh? I guess some of them might have... I guess some of them might have, might have run off after seeing their boss get beat. Uncle Nanu. And here comes the noise again. Oh, I'm so sorry. You must have been so scared, huh? Thanks, Ace. Really, you're really something. Uncle, you're a great police officer, aren't you? I really hope that you're keeping a good eye on things here. What else do you stay here for if not putting a stop to Team Skull shenanigans. I don't know. Drugs. <laughs> the rent's real cheap. No one else is crazy enough to stay this close to Team Skull, after all. 
That's what you say. But it's really all for the Pokemon, isn't it? You could depend on you could depend on the Aether Foundation to look after the Pokemon that Team Skull hurts. But you stay here to look out for them, huh? Come on, young goose. Let's get back to Aether House. <coughs> same, same young goose, same. I'll come back to see you again soon, Uncle. No one's asking you to. Man, this guy's a dick. Honestly. Then come by Aether House when you're done. Alola. This guy's a dick. He's like, I don't want you to come back. Ever, please. Pokemon tucked up in their Pokeballs. Team Skull locked them. Lock Team Skull locked up in their little town. I wonder if either enjoys the experience. I don't give a flying rat's potato if Team Skull likes their experience or not. I really don't. They moved the barricades, but nobody thought to move the truck out of the middle of the road. I still can't go in there, can I? Well, I can't use the PC in there. Which is what I need. I need the PC. I think I can just fly, though. I should be fine to just fly, though. Right? Right? Right. I'm pretty sure I'm fine to fly away. I don't think there's anything else going on. I need to go back to Aether House, I think. Yeah, that's my next... My next stop is Aether House. I'm just gonna fly back here to use the Pokemon Sandtail so I can use the PC and put our beautiful Pokemon to rest and figure out who we're adding to the team now. By the way, I'm recording this at 11.30 at night, so if you guys are wondering why it was kind of bright just now, I was like, oh, that, that, that's why. Dude. A timid Gengar. And a modest Tangrowth. Laid to rest with all of the other power. We've lost so many Pokemon for no real reason. Both of these guys got one shot from full, though. Like, I mean, I could have predicted it. I didn't expect Bug Buzz. His special defense is 66. I didn't know his special defense was so low. Or I would have totally swapped him out and not even tried to ancient power. But I didn't expect Tangrowth to die from one Bug Buzz. I thought he would live badly, but live. And I expected Gengar to outspeed easy. Oh, well, it's oh, the dumb. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Of course he didn't outspeed. Of course. It's Sucker Punch. Of course he didn't outspeed. The only thing I could have done was counter Sucker Punch him, and then his Sucker Punch wouldn't have even worked. But that would have... Then we would have just been playing shenanigans. We would have been playing mind games at that point with a computer, so that probably would not have ended in our favor. So we can add Mawile to the team. Not looking like a super helpful Mon, though. We can add Wishmer. Um, and there'd be another special attacker. And we need bulk. So we can try Slowpoke. Slowpoke is physically bulky, which would. Uh, well, Slowbro is physically bulky, which would. It would replace Tangrowth the best we can at this point. It's, I mean, naturally, it's pretty physically bulky. That might be what we go with. That might be what we have to go with here. Because looking at the box, I don't see anything else that would be... I guess... Physically defensive. As far as physically defensive goes... Bonsley wouldn't be terrible. But I'd have to look up how to evolve him into a Sudowoodo. I think it's Mimic. I think you have to learn Mimic. But... I'd have to double check. We could have added Basculin, but we already have a water type. So I think Wishmer. I think it's gonna be Wishmer and Slowpoke. No. Wishmer and Bonsley. Wishmer and Bonsley. Because I don't want to I don't want to duplicate water typing. I don't want to duplicate the water typing. We already have a Raquinid. A Raquinid's been doing fine. We don't need to duplicate water typing. So adding a normal type and a rock type to the team isn't terrible it seems like every video we end the video 
by having to get a new team together and, and fill our slots. We're gonna run out of Pokemon to add to the team without duplicate typings. We're pretty much out, actually. Unless I wanna carry around a Rufflet until 55, which is still a while away. So that's fantastic. That is truly, truly fantastic. So this is the team moving forward. This is the team moving forward. And I guess I'll have to grind a lot. And uh, we'll see how that goes. Should be fun. Should be fun indeed. <laughs> so if you guys enjoyed the poor plays and the struggle of a Nuzlocke and me wanting to cry, I really, <laughs> was really, really loving having the bulk on the team. Oh, I misplayed hard. I should have just swapped. I knew Masquerine liked to play on the special side, and I knew it had stab flying, it had stab bug. It's my fault. I should have swapped. There's no reason that I didn't. There's no reason for me not to have swapped. I had the specially defensive boy right there. I mean, if I had swapped into an air slash, it would have hurt a lot. But I think a Raccoonid would have lived in air slash, and he definitely would have lived the bug buzz. And I misplayed hard, and it's my fault, and I am really, 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 really sad about it. So that's awesome. it's awesome. It's great, honestly. It's great. That's why we, that's why we do what we do. <sighs> Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you did, drop a like down below for me. Uh, if nothing else, to pay respects to our fallen warriors. Um, hashtag rip in the in the comment section. <laughs> Man. Okay, so I'm gonna have to grind. I can't promise a video for tomorrow. We'll have to see how things go. I don't know when I'm gonna be able to grind, but I'm gonna have to grind before we move on. So it's gonna be great. But should by the next episode, we should have an X Bloud and a Sudowoodo to play around with. So that's gonna happen. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you did, drop a like for me and all that kind of stuff down below. Subscribe if you're new around here and share this video with a friend. But with that, I'm gonna get about. Hopefully, you guys did indeed enjoy. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.